All right, the new chair of the FCC, Brendan Carr, has made it clear that he is willing to look at auctioning off some radio frequency spectrum in order to make more room for 5G wireless service across the U.S. Part of the spectrum that he is considering selling does include a portion of the over-the-air TV band as well. The last TV spectrum auction took place under President Obama's administration and about 100 megahertz worth of bandwidth was sold. And that auction brought the over-the-air TV band down to its current size, ranging only from VHF channel 2 to UHF channel 36. Now let's say, for example, that the FCC does regain its auction authority and sells off 100 megahertz worth of over-the-air spectrum to cell phone companies. That would take the over-the-air TV band down to about channel 20. So you'd have channel 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. That would be it. That's all that would be left of the UHF TV spectrum. And then when you get to channel 13 and lower, now you're into VHF spectrum. One of the big selling points about having TV channels broadcasting on UHF was that you can use a much smaller antenna. However, the lower down the band you go, the bigger the antenna elements have to be, the longer they have to be to receive stations reliably. So if the UHF band shrinks by that much, again, hypothetically, that means that TV stations are either going to have to move to a very cramped UHF band or onto the VHF band unless they shut down altogether. Now, probably the only thing that is almost as bad as a TV station shutting down altogether would be if it moved on to the low VHF TV band channels 2 through 6. Those channels require antennas with very long elements, not to mention the low VHF band is notorious for being prone to interference as well. VHF TV stations also have much lower broadcast power limits than UHF stations do, and that's another reason why they need TV antennas that are designed with longer elements in order for them to be received reliably. So if the over-the-air TV band shrinks, and again, it's all hypothetical, but if it does shrink anymore, we may be in a situation where it's going to be really, really cramped to the point where a lot of stations may end up on the VHF band again, which means that we're going to need bigger antennas. So if you've been holding on to any old TV antennas with longer elements that were more optimized for VHF, someday you might need those again. Either that or TV antenna manufacturers are going to have to come out with another line of antennas that are now quote-unquote repack ready, for the new TV spectrum, which would shrink again. So if you have any of those older, larger antennas lying around, you might need them at some point. So if another spectrum auction is held and most stations stay on ATSC-1, that will put a real squeeze on the over-the-air TV bandwidth, which might end up moving a lot of channels down into the VHF range. Mind you, if some stations flash cut to ATSC3 next-gen TV, then an entirely different scenario could unfold. Of course, this is all speculation. What's going to happen to the over-the-air TV band? Nobody really knows yet, but it's definitely not going to get any bigger.